In this video, we'll do an example where we find the area between two curves. This example, although not fully copied out yet, we need a left and a right bound telling us what interval we are on. There we go. And this is pretty plug and play. It's the integral from A to B. of the upper minus the lower function. I should, um, let me see. So we need to know which of these is which. Let's graph them and see. I know some people aren't, but I am a great believer in technology. So there's f of x here is g of x. We're on the interval from zero to four pi. And okay, we can see that the red function, which is f of x, the sine function, is above the blue function, the cosine function. So the integral from zero to four pi of the upper function minus the lower function. And now it's finding this integral, if we can. Um, this doesn't simplify a whole lot. But we can at least combine our constants to minus negative one is positive three. Let's see, the antiderivative of the sine is the negative cosine. Let's see, the antiderivative of the cosine of two x First of all, let me write that negative one half. It will just stick around. Um, if you're struggling with this antiderivative, you can use U substitution. It ends up being one half the sine. of 2x. The antiderivative of 3 is 3x. 
evaluated from zero to four pi. So on a unit circle, here's zero, here's two pi, here's four pi. So the cosine of four pi is one. The sine of eight pi, eight pi is still here, zero, two pi, four pi, eight pi. The sine of eight pi is the y coordinate of this point, which is zero, plus stick four pi in here, 12 of pi. And now we'll plug in our lower limit of integration. The cosine of zero is one. The sine of zero is zero. Three times zero is zero. Let's see, this negative one and this negative one cancel. We're subtracting them. And we're left with 12 of pi. And area in this context is unitless. So just 12 of pi. There is no square feet or anything after it.